up everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the replay mod in Minecraft 1.14.4. We're going to be going over every single step of getting the replay mod and that includes doing things like getting FFmpeg, which is needed in order to export using the replay mod. This is going to be an in-depth tutorial. We're going to be going over all of it and it's going to be for Minecraft 1.14.4 here, the latest version. But nonetheless, we first have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love it so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you are looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to hang out, enjoy, and maybe make some awesome videos with using the replay mod, you can check out Apex the first link down below to do just that, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get the replay mod. Now, the first thing we need to do is obviously download it, and to do that, you want to go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here, which is the replay mod official download page. Once you're here, you want to find the Minecraft 1.14 four version. It's right here at the top. And we want to scroll over and click that mirror button to the right of the download link. Now you might be asking yourself, why are we clicking mirror? Especially when, if you click the download link, as you'll see here, it says, you must, you know, click the normal download link. It supports the mod creator. Nick, aren't you about supporting mod creators? I am. I love supporting mod creators, but I'm not good with doing it through AdFly. If you're going to use AdFocus, more than happy to work with you and more than happy to not skip the download AdFly process, but literally if you click this download link here, it will take you off to AdFly and it simply will not work. I have not been able to get the download to work through AdFly. However, if you click on the mirror here, we click on mirror, it's going to pull this little pop-up up and it says, please only use the mirror if the main download link does not work for you, as the main download supports the mod. More than happy to support the mod creator, but we can't download it through that main download link. Like I said, AdFly just glitches out, so we're going to do it this way and then go ahead and click OK there. And then the download will go ahead and start. Now, we actually did get hit with a pop-up block. So if you click up here on the top right for Google Chrome, it's going to say that it was a pop-up block. I'm going to go ahead and just always allow from replay mods. And then we can click on the mirror download here. Click on that again. And then now it's going to take us off and download in the bottom left. Now, you might not have to block the pop-up or turn the pop-up block off. If you do, though, it is up here in the top right of Google Chrome, right up there. As you can see, that's where it's at. Now, when this is downloading, it's 100% safe to download as long as it says replay mod in the title. If it doesn't say replay mod in the title, don't download it. But ours does say replay mod here. And then we can go ahead and click keep. Now, let's keep kept and we're good to go, right? It is saved on our computer, but we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download Fabric, which is the mod loader, as well as the Fabric API. So let's go ahead and start off with Fabric. You can find this at the third link in the description down below. When you come here, you want to click on the installation for vanilla here. Installer version, doesn't matter. Just keep that what it is. And then click on the download installer universal slash dot jar here. So the download and installer universal jar. Click on that and the download will begin in the bottom left. It is safe to keep as long as it does start with Fabric and our does, so we can go ahead and click keep on that file. Now, again, we still need to download the Fabric API, which, guess what? It's the fourth link in the description down below. When you come to this link, you want to simply come over to the right-hand sidebar over here, scroll down until you see the Minecraft 1.14 heading. See, there it is. And then under that, you'll have a version Fabric API. Go ahead and click that purple download button on that version of the Fabric API there. Make sure it was the Minecraft 1.14 version, though, that you are downloading. Take off this page, and after a few seconds, it'll download in the bottom left. And guess what? We're going to need to keep the file, which is safe to do so as long as it says Fabric API in the title. So let's go ahead and click keep. And now finally, we can minimize our browser in order to desktop. We have the replay mod itself. We have the fabric installer and we have the fabric API. We're actually going to be starting off here with the fabric installer because you need to install that in order to run the replay mod at all. So let's go ahead and right click on the fabric installer, click on open with, and then you should have Java TM platform SE binary. If you don't have that, no worries. You just need to go to the description of this video to find our Java tutorial. And this will show you how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods, servers, etc. It's the exact same version for both of those servers and mods, but nevertheless, you'll need to download this version of Java if you don't have it already, and you can go through that tutorial. Quick and easy three-step process. However, if you do that and you still can't open with Java, still not working, no worries. We have another solution for you, and that is the jar fix. And the jar fix is going to fix all the .jar files on your computer and make them work with Java once again. So that's what that's going to do, and this is a quick and easy tutorial to get it. Another quick three-step tutorial to fix the jar files on your computer. Now if we go ahead and minimize our browser though, we can finally right-click on the Fabric installer, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, and click OK. That will then open up the Fabric mod installer here, as you can see, the Fabric installer. 
everything can be left the same. All you need to do is click on install here. Then it'll quickly flash some text and then say done. Once it says done right there, well, you're done. You can close out of the fabric installer. Very, very easy to get it up and running there, or at least get it installed into Minecraft. Now we need to install the replay mod and the fabric API. To do that, go ahead and open up your wind little Windows icon for me. It's in the top left for you. It's probably in the bottom left of your screen, but it could be in the top or bottom left of your screen. Just click that little Windows icon there to open up the start menu. Then go ahead and type in run. Are you in. Then you'll have this run desktop application here. When you click on that, you'll open up this run app, right? This will be opened. It was an app. It's the run app here. And then in this app, you want to type in percent app data percent percent sign app data percent sign and then hit enter that will then go ahead and open up your roaming folder where you'll have a dot minecraft folder here then you should have a mods folder but nick i don't have a mods folder what do i do well don't freak out just right click in this white space over here create a new folder and then title that folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder and drag and drop the replay mod and the fabric API into the mods folder here. So drag and drop both of those in here. That should be the fabric API and the replay mod in the mods folder. Now at this point, fabric and replay are installed, which is required in order to run the replay mod. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we wanna click this little arrow to the right, to, or excuse me, to the left of the play button, where you should have this fabric loader here. If you do, go ahead and click on that and click play. But if you don't, no worries. Click on the installations tab up here at the top of Minecraft. And then you wanna go ahead and click the plus new button. So right here, this plus new, see that? Click on that, and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.break downcraft.com here. Why am I naming it play.breakdowncraft.com? Because that is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. It's actually our Minecraft server with Greek protected survival. We have the medieval survival server with over 30 custom quests and an incredible player-based economy. Then we also have our aquatic survival server with a slash shop-based economy. And then on top of all of that, we have a custom skyblock with OP enchants, custom islands, and just a mighty fun time. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Then under version, click on this drop-down box here. Then you'll have this release fabric dash loader here. See? Release fabric loader there. Go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to change our game resolution just quickly and easily because, well, you guys need to be able to see once we're in game. Then you can go ahead and click create here. Now we'll have this new profile created in our case called play.breakdowncraft.com. And as you can see, it says fabric dash loader under it. If it does, go ahead and click this green play button here. Now it's going to tell me a game is already running. Hold on. I accidentally had that live. There we go. Now I've closed out of that. We can go ahead and click play. And it will open up Minecraft 1.14.4 with the replay mod installed. But that's not everything we need to do with the replay mod. Now at this point, we can actually go in, make a recording, you know, do some replays, things like that. But what we can't do is export those. In order to do that, we're going to need the FFmpeg plugin. Or basically, it's not even a plugin. It's kind of like a program. It's a little weird. And you'll see what I mean by it's a little weird here in a moment. But nevertheless, Let's go ahead and get this all set up. Now, it is going to ask you to log into replaymod.com. As you can see, you can register here, register everything, and then log in. However, that is not required and not something I'm gonna be going over in this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click skip there. Now, once you're here, you can see the replay viewer. This is where any of your replays and gameplay is going to show up. You can also go to the replay center. If you log in there, you'll be able to access that. And it's basically where all of your videos are uploaded to their own like website there. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com right there. We're jumping on in. And once we're in game here, the recording will start automatically. You don't have to start it. You don't have to do anything like that. It just starts automatically. And you can see up here in the top left, it is recording. So if we go ahead and go to spawn here. We will, in fact, be able to kind of see everything, right? See how beautiful it is, see how amazing the castle is and everything like that. And we're actually going to kind of run into the castle here. Now, what's really cool about this is that later on, we're going to be able to get a video of not only me running into the castle if we want, but most importantly, of the castle itself. If we want to do like a cool cinematic of this castle. We can do it. And that's actually what we're going to do here. So when you spawn into a medieval survival, by the way, this is where you spawn in, run up to this guy, right click on him, and you're good to go. You can start your initial quest and get rocking and rolling. But nevertheless, Unless once we're kind of ran through here, I'll go back out and we'll show you that uh, this has recorded as a video. All right, there we go. Boom. We'll stop here. So you can actually pause and stop the recording here. So if we want to pause the recording, it will pause and then kind of like jump forward. So we can jump forward and resume the recording and then you can stop the recording altogether and then start a new recording. So now we're actually going to have two recordings because we're going to have the uh, one that we started and then the one that we stopped there as well. So it's another little area on medieval survival where you can do quests and things. 
So you can come here and check out all of that. And yeah, I just wanted to do another little video here. Now the video will automatically stop when we disconnect from the server. As you can see, it says saving replay file. Look at that, 114 people on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on replay viewer here. And as I said, we have two videos. So we have the initial video we shot, which is right here, and the second one right here. Now, if you want to load these, pretty simple. Just click on it and click load here. Then it's going to load us right on in game, right like so. And look at that. Look how awesome that is freaking incredible you are flying around everything is playing and happening and moving and it just is absolutely awesome isn't it look at that now what if though we want to do like a cinematic of the castle right that's what i said we were going to do well to do that you can either pause it up here right and if you pause it up here everything is going to take place in this specific moment but let's say we wanted to start off by following me so if we go ahead and do that we'll start here go ahead and basically do a keyframe so we can add a position keyframe and then add a time keyframe you want to make sure you do both of those then skip forward a little bit so we're going to play this forward a little bit right and then I would say that was a few seconds so we'll go ahead and skip forward to there and then we'll move this forward boom boom now if we go ahead and click play here from this position excuse me move your cursor back see that move your cursor back and click play it's going to reload and you will see there i am and moving forward now be, the reason i was moving kind of in slow motion is because the time period between here is shorter than the time period between here right so we want to make sure those are the same this can be a bit tricky i've had trouble myself tracking in real time using the replay mod that's why i normally don't do in real time stuff so if we go ahead and move forward here go ahead and move forward right like so we can move through the entire castle this way right we can do this for the entire castle all the way up and it's just it's an awesome awesome mod in my opinion so as you can see we can see the movement that's happening here Great mod, perfect for recording awesome cinematics. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. That is why we have the dialogue or the documentation linked in the description so you can kind of go over this. However, at this point, let's go ahead and watch our little cinematic we have back here. It's about half, like 30 seconds. We go ahead and join in. You'll see me skip in there for a second. Then I'm just gonna freeze because I stopped moving time, right? We're gonna hover here for a second and then we're gonna do that swoop up that we had. So we're gonna swoop there and then go up and see how smooth this is. It's almost like a drone shot or a steady cam shot and um, that's kind of what you're looking for that's what the uh, replay mod can provide awesome beautiful cinematics and that's why I, I don't know if you've ever seen like a Minecraft youtuber kind of had like third-party camera almost that's what that is this is the replay mod at work so there you go little quick cinematic now at this point if you want to go ahead and render it what you would do is click the render camera path button here it's gonna open this up most of the time you want to keep this default 1080p is 1920 by 1080. That's what most people are doing YouTube videos at. MP4 quality is going to be fine. Now at this point, if you come down here and just click render, it's not going to work because you need to have FFmpeg installed. So let's go ahead and go back to showing the entire browser here, or entire screen, excuse me. Go up to our browser and in the description down below, we have this. This is the replay mod documentation. Here is where you can learn about everything. As you can see, the actual replaying and the movements and the camera controls, it actually talks about replay speed and how to make sure everything is like replayed at the correct time and everything like that. Like, I'm not that good at doing that, but this goes over this, right? However, what we're really interested in here is if we come back up here to the content, contents installing the ffmpeg so if we click on that we're going to be installing it for windows here mac os and linux you guys are going to have to go through the tutorials yourself here however i'm going to be installing it all on windows so once you're here you want to download the latest ff static build for mpeg or for your architecture from here so let's go ahead and click on that and then when we do it will take us off to this website here where we want to download the latest build we have a 64-bit windows here static boom boom looking good so we download build here that's going to download in the bottom left you probably won't need to save that file now we want to come back over to the documentation here and then you have it download the batch script to install ffmpeg so right here is this go ahead and click on that and it will download in the bottom left you may need to keep that file but we did not here now if we minimize our browser on our desktop here we have ffmpeg path installer and the ffmpeg zip file what we want to do first is right click on this go ahead and click on extract all and then click extract that is then going to extract into a file here on our desktop that will allow us to install ffmpeg it won't work if you just have the zip file now it is then going to open up this right this sort of like ffmpeg setup here what we then want to do is drag that to our desktop however we're going to have to rename it so let's go ahead and rename this real quick to ffmpeg install 
right? So rename that folder and drag it to your desktop. Now, at this point, we can install FFmpeg. How do you do that? Well, it's pretty simple. Just double click on this install bat file. Now, I do want to make sure that when you double click on the FFmpeg file here, it immediately shows you bin, doc, presets, license, readme. If you see this immediately when you open up the FFmpeg file, you're good to go. If you don't, make sure you do before you run this .bat file. So let's go ahead and double click on the FFmpeg.bat, and then it's going to go ahead, oh, excuse me, it says FFmpeg.exe is not found. What you need to do is take the .bat file and drag and drop it into this folder here. Then double click on the .bat file, and it's going to go ahead and run it. As you can see, it says we set FFmpeg's path variable. If you move this folder, make sure you run this script again. So there you go. Just drag and drop that script into this folder here. Double click on it, and it will successfully install. Now, finally, we come back over to Minecraft here. We can click on render, and oh, excuse me, we have to click on save again. So if we click on that save button, then click on render. Oh, it's not going to work, is it? It's not going to work. No problem. All we need to do is exit, and I think open up the replay viewer again. I forget exactly what you need to do to get this to load. It's one of those things. Um, now, luckily, it does save this. You see, it's got the, all of this saved, so we can go ahead and render. Oh, it's still not installing it. All right, let's restart Minecraft really quick, and then it will work. I know this is this seems like it's a bit crazy, but it is, right? This is a pretty difficult mod to use, and that's why I wanted to do a tutorial on it, and I'm going to have my own issues during this. So after you install FFmpeg, just restart it, and you'll be good to go. You'll be able to do your export. Now, one of the things I will say is that it should save that kind of file that we had there, that swooping video that we had. So let's go ahead and open up Minecraft. I will see you on the main menu once everything is opened up here, and then we'll go ahead and get rocking and rolling. All right, so here we are, Minecraft loaded up. I'm gonna head skip that, and as you can see, it seems like Minecraft is not quit normally. The replay mod was not saved correctly. Do you wish to recover it? Yes, we do wanna recover that. Then we can go into Replay Viewer, click on that, load back in to where we were at there, and then, as you can see, we do have this sort of setup that we had, right? Now, we can go ahead and click Render Path, and then finally scroll down and click Render. Now, it will go ahead and render this out. However, it is going to take quite a bit of computer resources here, and I might be lagging a bit in my voice, so I'm sorry about that, but as you can see, everything is rendering out. And then uh, once this is done, I will show you where to find the video, and then you'll have successfully made a cinematic with read the replay mod, right? Pretty complicated, really, but overall pretty easy. I'm gonna get this render out, and I'll see you after a quick jump cut. So there we go, our render is finishing, and boom, there it is, it's done. Now you can either upload this to YouTube or open video folder. And there it is, that is how you can get to it. If you are curious, it is in your roaming folder, so if you remember, earlier in this tutorial, we opened up the run app, we typed in percent app data percent, and then hit enter. Then we went to our dot Minecraft folder, and then in here you do have the replay videos here, and there it is, there is the video we created. We double click on it, oh, it opened on my second monitor, hold on. We double click on it, it does open up this video here, and you'll see this is the exact same video that we had in Minecraft uh, rocking and rolling, except now it's exported, it's ready to be uploaded and, and, and shown and like added to Let's Plays and montages and all of that stuff quickly and easily, right? It actually is, like this has been over almost a 20 minute tutorial here, but it is a pretty easy mod to use once you get the hang of it. It just takes a while to get the hang of it, get everything installed, you had to restart Minecraft, all that stuff. So there we go, as you can see our cinematic is now set up and looking pretty. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And please, please, please use this documentation here. This is going to show you, if you scroll on down here, a lot more about recording, a lot more about replaying and movement and how you can use this movement and rolling the camera and all sorts of awesome stuff. And replay speed and how to make sure things last and, and actually, you know, set things at the correct timing. It all goes through it here. And that's why this is so important and so great to understand and, and to really get into the replay mod with. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play it breakdowncraft.com. I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.